Florida Congressman Michael Waltz is with us, and Fox News contributor, former CIA station chief Dan Hoffman. Uh, they're sending in these Chechen killers. Dan, what do you know about them? Well, reportedly, uh, there have been these three assassination attempts against President Zelensky. I have no doubt that Russia infiltrated Ukraine probably weeks or even months before their invasion to try to find and fix Zelensky's location. They've been ruthlessly focused on trying to decapitate uh, Ukraine's government. And they know that Zelensky has done an exceptional job of mobilizing international support to the tune of roughly $15 billion, as well as inspiring uh, Ukrainian citizens to take up arms against Russia. And for that reason, right now, President Zelensky is, uh, is, is winning the information war against the KGB operative in the Kremlin, Vladimir Putin. How humiliating uh, for Vladimir Putin that he's losing to a uh, former comedian with no prior experience in, in running the affairs of state. And Congressman, I, I've got to believe this is far more difficult to protect, protect President Zelensky because of technology and yeah. the ability of the Russians to pinpoint his location. Uh, how might he be able to hide from these assassination squads? Well, and Sean, just to add to what Dan was saying, you know, what's interesting in some of the reporting, fascinating really, is that apparently a number of the hit squad operations were exposed by anti-war elements of the FSB, which was a follow-on service to the KGB, which Putin used to command. Uh, and coupled with that, he publicly dressed down the current head uh, of the FSB. So I think that's a very interesting piece that I'm going to be seeking more information on. Uh, on President Zelensky, uh, Dan's right, he's winning the propaganda war uh, worldwide. He has stolen Putin's narrative. He's rallied his people. But here's the thing, Sean, I think he needs to shift strategy. President Zelensky, you need to stay alive uh, at this point. And every time he goes on air, whether it's with a group of senators tomorrow, the European Union, an hour-long press conference, the Russians are trying to geolocate him and put a cruise missile through the window. George Washington kept our revolution alive by staying alive. And I hope President Zelensky at this point, now that he has seized the narrative and rallied his people, will shift out of Kiev uh, as soon as he can and stay alive to keep this resistance alive so that hopefully the Biden administration can get off the rear end and get them the arms and the weapons that they need. That, that, to me, seems like the only hope that they have, uh, Dan Hoffman, and that is the javelins, the stinger missiles. Uh, the rest of Europe is pledging military equipment. Some has arrived. Obviously, not enough has arrived. Uh, do you think that they'll be able to stop this 40-mile convoy before it hits Kiev? Well, they've taken some action against that convoy and uh, slowed it down and, and stopped it. Look, I think we all understand that uh, instead of using what wound up being practically a live Twitter feed of declassifying CIA intelligence on Russia's imminent invasion, it would have been a good idea concurrently to step up provision of uh, military assistance to Ukraine. But we've got to get it done now. You can add anti-ship uh, harpoon missiles to that list, Sean. And while we've got the That's opportunity right. through western Ukraine, we've got to flood the zone with that military equipment. All right. Well said, Congressman. Thank you. And Dan Sean, Hoffman, Congress... Thank Sean, yeah, Congress, Congress should be voting on this this weekend, not going on a weekend break while Ukrainians are dying. Pelosi should have us voting on this aid yeah. that they need right now. And somebody needs to get Joe out of his bed and in the Situation Room or in the Oval Office. Uh, thank you both.